Now we're talking Classic Plus. As we progress through Wrath Classic, I can't uh, help but notice a rise in interest for the vanilla version go. of the game beginning okay, to good. grow within the player base. Okay. I think a lot of players would happily jump back to a vanilla version of the game given good timing and a concept which looks promising. But mm -hmm. as usual, Blizzard holds all the cards here. And of course, it's worth a mention, we don't know what's after. And now, Brian Birmingham is gone. Seasonal mastery right now, and Classic Plus is totally just a community wish at this point in time. Yet, while Seasonal Mastery is soon to wind up, we can't help but ask, what's next? Another season with more Ooh, new ideas, a no change is fresh, or perhaps something much more ambitious? Since the early days of Classic, players have speculated what will come when the final boss of the expansion falls over, and everyone is there in their near abyss gear, twiddling their thumbs, waiting for the next big content patch to drop. One of those ideas has always been Classic Plus, an unofficial term from the players, broadly meaning Classic, but instead of expansions to move us forwards into TBC and beyond, there are new major content it's patches bonus added dungeons, instead, bonus or just raids. updates to the game in the spirit of Classic classic what if we never cross the dark you know the sad part there is a private server that is doing classic plus it's called uh well, okay maybe okay i'm not i'm not gonna say what it's called but there is a private server that is actually making their own classic plus content with with quite a high degree of success by the way portal what if there were new raids or new dungeons and anything else you can think of after all we have retail we have classic wow as it currently is which is chugging along through the expansions give it 18 more months from now and we'll be in cataclysm classic i expect vanilla ran its course faster than it did originally so did tbc by some six months and wrath will probably Thank be God a little TBC bit shorter soon. overall too these are the places to re-experience expansions as they once were so why not turn seasonal world of warcraft into to something different something entirely innovative with new content phases and regular updates why not go all in and do classic plus well the pessimist will say it will cost money time and effort to work on something new so obviously that's not gonna happen is it and yeah there's going to be a part of that to be honest why take an unnecessary risk when Bro, if they if what if they made like classic plus expansions you had to buy and each and each classic plus expansion was like ten dollars. Do you think do you think people would do that? Would be and it had like maybe a new raid and like two or three new dungeons and like a new zone. I actually think that people would buy that. I think people would pay for that. Yeah, you could make money doing that. You can that. just re-release expansions that you know people will come back for. But I think there's actually more to it than that. There's a bigger picture of problems that need to be addressed if Classic Plus were to actually be taken seriously. And for me, these are my three biggest problems with Classic Plus. But first, okay. a word from today's sponsor, Gemstone Ooh. Legends, a high Bro, fantasy Gemstone puzzle style Legends. RPG game rated 4.6 stars on Android and almost 5 on iOS. Well, you you can download that. the game and try for free using the link in the description or the QR code on oh, screen. Wow. Gemstone Legends has a puzzle style element of game, but also hero collection oh, with wow. more than 200 heroes from 8 different factions and eight 5 heroes. different tiers. Every hero five has a tiers. unique set of skills which can be a game changer for strategy for each battle that's during the puzzle battles lot. you can use epic combo attacks in your tactical sense solving match three oh, wow. puzzles and conquering powerful monsters to build your empire and there's dragons who doesn't like do you think you could just like make a mobile game like this using uh ai art could you generate all of this using ai art and not even pay an artist ever Bro, we're probably at that point, right? Battle. During the puzzle battles, we're you can use up. epic combo attacks in your tactical sense, yeah, solving nice. match three puzzles, and conquering powerful monsters to build your empire. And there's dragons. Who doesn't like dragons? Gather wow, clans of heroes of and start an epic puzzle adventure in a high fantasy RPG open world. Fight in PvP. Wow, thrilling. Uh, bejeweled. Be <laughs> They've integrated Bejeweled with RPG combat. Modes and align with other dragon That's riders to compete in guild wars. There's even a Discord server where you can stay up to date with the game. They I'm in even the game under the nickname server. Will E. Download the game Damn. for free now on both Android and iOS and get started today. This is okay, I'm gonna this is weird though. No, this is weird. Something's off. Right? It is weird. By using the link in the description or the QR code on screen. Amazing. You'll also get a special starter pack worth $50 by using my link, including 500,000 coins, 300 gems, 10 mana elixirs, 10 healing elixirs, 
and a four-star oh, wow. hero, Annika. Many thanks to Gemstone Legends for sponsoring the video today. He's, he Back to it. WoW. The first point is, I've already done the content. Let me explain what I mean here. There okay. was a time in World of Warcraft where it wasn't really known how far the game would go. What would be the next major content pack? And for some of you, your favorite flavor is vanilla. And even whether there were Remember going that? to be expansions. On a BlizzCon panel from 2007, I found something which Ooh. really spoke to how Blizzard did content back then. Plan more than we can build, expect change, adapt. There wasn't just content no ideas changes. for the next patch or patch after that. There were just ideas that various devs wanted to be part of the game, things which they had worked upon and iterated upon. It was more of a question of where does this best fit within the game? After all, World of Warcraft in its early days had pretty heavy inspiration from the story of the RTS games to lean on. Very there true. were hours of yes. cutscenes, cinematics and story twists to draw from. It just had to be the right time to introduce each one. In fact, in its Damn. early days, the level cap of vanilla was intended to be 70, and so much content that would be introduced with the expansion was either planned or actively was already being worked on. Here's another bit from the same BlizzCon 2007 panel. I know the quality's mega scuffed, I couldn't find better online, Super unfortunately. Scuffed. So this is, a, this is a list of um, original dungeon zones. Older Man, 38 to 45, Maradon... Caverns of Time, bro, Caverns of Time was originally supposed to be 55 to 62. Crazy. Dragon Isles, 70 plus. Ooh. Better online, unfortunately. But you can make out at the top. That well, hey, the Dragon Isles is 70 plus. They were right. The Dragon Isles is 70 plus. Right? And isn't 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 Dragonlands level 70? Or is it 60? I forget. Maybe it's maybe it's 60. Fuck. This actually, was the dungeon list as planned from April 2003. Shit. That's pre-vanilla launch. Okay, and bad. right at the bottom you can see the Black Temple as the final dungeon. It wasn't that Damn. content was necessarily cut from vanilla, it just wasn't used, and it was waiting its turn. It's no wonder that Karazan is located in Deadwind Pass, by the way. A strange place for an expansion raid to still be in vanilla, don't you think? Mm -hmm. This location and raid was in development long before TBC dropped. In fact, this dungeon would have almost put Blackrock Depths to shame. Estimated in its earliest version to be as Jesus. large as Lower Blackrock and Upper Blackrock Spire combined, and having a load time of 30 minutes. Tons of work have been done on the interior, the layout, texturing, and I have to say the early versions, fix especially from the outside, I can look particularly it. ominous. Not forgetting the Karazan Crypts either, a series of spooky, sprawling tunnels below the tower, housing endless stone walls and restless bones. Again, an area that had begun to be fleshed out from a level design point of view. You know the heartbeat room? You go to the one room like at the very back of this thing and you can, if you turn up your ambience all the way, you hear a heartbeat. Holy shit. ...view, and it was partially used during You've the Karazan right? attunement in TBC, but never saw the proper light of day as its own piece of content. Mount Hygel is another one to highlight. In vanilla, it had a raid instance portal connecting it to the Dark Whisper Gorge in Southern Winter Spring. It was another zone with a bunch of work that had been put okay, into it, which it. just never released I'm in sold. vanilla. Blizzard, Again, we do saw it. it in a lot more detail during the Burning Crusade as a raid, and eventually reimagined as a zone during Cataclysm. Mm -hmm. Even the Hellfire peninsula had work put into it during vanilla again it was planned to be a later yeah this was the og hellfire peninsula true this is what it looked like game zone that would eventually ship with tbc you can see tons of landscaping and floating mushrooms dominating the area in these early screenshots Though at some point yep. it was decided that instead of more and more major content patches, there would be a full-on expansion. Many of these unused ideas were roped together and bundled up for World of Warcraft's first foray into a totally new world. This would release- Yeah, no, they like, bro, they should just do what OSRS does. Okay, relaunch vanilla, have player polls, have player polls to introduce new content. If like 80% of people vote yes, do it and uh just fucking do it you release new content do it in 2007 as the burning crusade to a huge amount of success and as we know now black temple karazan and mount hygel ended up being raiding content and hellfire peninsula was the starting zone i know this and we all know this because many of us have done them in tbc or tbc classic mm -hmm. and that's what i mean when i say 
I've already done the content. Tons of things that were at an idea stage were later used in some form. Even the Dragon Isles were at a concept stage during vanilla, and that's just dropped as the latest retail expansion. The thing is, as much as I like Karazhan, do I want to do it again at 60, with the same layout, and the same bosses, and the same loot? So the they would have to add a lot. They would have to add new leveling dungeons. They would have to add new leveling zones. They would have to add new endgame dungeons. They have to have a series of new endgame raids. They would have to have new soundtracks, new music for the zones. They would have to have new NPC voice lines. Like, bro, that, it, think, that is actually so much fucking work. That is so much work. That I already know. True. I'm not really sure that I do. What if Karazhan was different? Maybe <laughs> that could work instead. During Legion, Blizzard re AI generated, yeah. Blizzard, hey, dumb fuck Blizzard employees, don't you know, you can just Google AI, AI art generator, and you can go there and you can type in, hello, AI art generator, make me a new uh, multi-million dollar MMO, please. Processing, processing your request, beep, 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 and then boom, you have a new MMO. Don't you know that, dumb fuck Blizzard employees? Just do that, fucking morons. Imagine Karazhan True. is a two-part mega dungeon. It's that easy. Which kept aspects from the past while making it fit better into the newer game. I think one of the draws of a classic plus for me isn't just seeing stuff that we come to see eventually, but more something new, unexplored. Hyjal, as Whoa. it set out in vanilla, has never been a zone, for example. What if that was- Okay, top ideas. Hold up. Chat. <sighs> Hold up. What do we want to see? Top classic plus ideas. Okay, so obviously we want to see Timber Ma Raid. Or Dungeon, whatever, whatever, which, whichever one. We want to see Scarlet Raid. We want to see a Scarlet Crusade Raid, bro. And all, by the way, including boats. I want there to be boats. In some, I want like it's it's not like the Scarlet Dockyard, and you're like going from boat to boat, and then you go inside another big fucking building. Okay, that that's what I that's what I want. That's what I want. Also, uh, also, what's her name? Uh, White Mane. Uh, this is also important. White Mane is alive again. Don't ask why, but she needs she needs to be there. She needs to be a part of it. Okay, she needs to be there. Okay, next up, what else do we want to see? Give me some ideas. Oldham, Oldham Dungeon. Yeah, true. Oldham, Oldham Dungeon. Like at at the gates of at the gates of Oldham down in uh down in fucking uh Tenaris. Yeah, true. Then what? What do we want to yeah yeah well okay yeah Grimbatol. Grimbatol. We already got the Grimbatol dungeon in Cataclysm, but do it different, do it better. Do it more vanilla. Make it vanilla do it again. Do it again and do it right this time, okay? Do it again. What do we need to see? Uh high jaw, yeah, high high jaw something. We need to see the high jaw something. I don't know. I don't know exactly what that would be, but that needs to be something. We need to see. Uh, oh, dude, yeah, do do something with like Ashara. Do do the Ashara crater BG or something, right? Use all the Ashara assets. Do something cool with Ashara. Uh, yeah, do that. Oh, dude, what if you had what if you had Ashara Naga raid? So like in in the middle of the. Hold up, can I show you? Im imagine, dude, imagine. Imagine right here in this temple, there's like a secret passage, sort of like Black Fathom Deeps. You go down there, and there's an underground cavernous uh, Ashara Naga raid, right? That's cool. Bro, that'd be cool. Do that. We don't have a Naga raid. We don't. And there's Murlocs. And there's Mur- And there's Murlocs. True. Murlocs. How however the fuck you spell that. Murlocs. Okay? Then what? Then what- Then what else? Then what else? What is this? Oh, dude, what if you had, uh, like a Blood Sail, uh, dungeon? Like a Blood Sail Buccaneers dungeon. Like, like, it, it's like a series of pirate ships, right? That's cool. That's a cool thing, right? Um, yeah, that's cool. And, and yeah, by the way, hold up. It would be like, uh, con continuation of Blood Sail, uh, no, of, of, of Defias, uh, story. So, bro, dude, what if the what if the blood sail get a hold of the Defias boat that they made in the Dead Mines? You know, you're on like that big fucking boat, and now the Defias have the boat, or or sorry, now the blood sail have that big fucking boat, and oh, they're doing something with it. Oh, we gotta stop them. I don't know what the fuck they're doing, but we can't let them do it. Okay, then what? Then what else do we have? We need, yeah, it's Dead Mines two, Bo boat edition, pirate boat edition.
We have more world bosses. Yeah, honestly, I would like that. More world bosses. Uh, also, uh, plus uh, le leveling world bosses. Like, I, I want, I want like a level forty world boss that people in Stranglethorn Vale have to kill every twelve hours for good. Like, if you kill the level forty STV world boss, you get really cool level thirty nine Twink loot or something, right? Uh, leveling, leveling world bosses. I want that. I want some low level world bosses. I want, I want more things like Guru Bashi Arena. Some of my best memories are going to the Gurubashi Arena and fucking fucking people up, okay? I want more things like the Gurubashi Arena. That's one of the best things about the game. Um, yeah, you know what? Like, STV Islands. I want I want more stuff off the coast of STV. I want more islands. I want I want crazy shit going off of STV. Everyone loves STV. Make just make more just make more STV, okay? Everyone likes STV. What else? Oh yeah, we need we need new gear sets that make uh meme specs viable okay so there's a set for boomkins and it gives you plus 50 percent mana regen okay there's a set for fucking rep paladins and if you have the four set bonus it gives you crusader strike and it makes you not go oom and there's a set for prot paladins and if you get the two set bonus it gives you a fucking taunt ability and it makes you not a fucking retard and actually that's a, well, <laughs> that's impossible but we're gonna do our best uh and then and then whatever the fuck else okay so all of that stuff all of that stuff, we're gonna try to do that. Hey, Blizzard here, we're gonna try to do that. Um, but you're still gonna be brain dead. Um, what else? Oh yeah, dude. Uh, gnomes and trolls get their own city. True. I wanna see the gnomes and the trolls. I wanna see- I wanna see Blizzard do right by those little motherf- Those motherfuckers need some love, okay? Blizzard, make it happen. Oh yeah, bro, obviously. Hold on. How did we not get this yet? Emerald, uh, Nightmare Dungeon. Okay, just like, just like, let us go through the portals. Listen, let us go through the world dragon portals. Okay, I want to go through that portal. I want to see what is on the other side of that fucking portal. Just give us a dungeon or something. I don't know. It could be like a level, you know, you know what, you know what, you know what WoW needs? We need dungeons for level like 30 to 40. We need more 30 to 40 dungeons. We need more 30 to 40 dungeons. There's not enough of them. You have like STV, or I'm sorry, you have you have you have the Scarlet Dungeons, but and like that's it, and those are like kind of a one and done. You don't do this multiple times really. We need we need we need more 30 to 40 dungeons. So like, give us give us a level 33. Give us a level 33 Emerald Nightmare Dungeon. Cool. That's cool. Do that. It doesn't it does like it doesn't even all have to be max level content, right? Think okay, for instance. Uh, uh, Maradon isn't a max level dungeon. Think about how impactful and important Maradon is. You can make low level dungeons have value at max level. You can do that if you play it right, right? Um, uh, yeah, bro, dude, they could do more professions. Like, I would be happy to see more professions. Um, okay, let's, let's have that talk. On the profession talk, what professions would you like to see in Classic Plus? What would you even want to see? And don't don't just don't just copy uh, don't just copy World of Warcraft. Jewel crafting, on like on, honestly, I think I think jewel crafting is a pretty good profession. Uh, I I want to see JC. I do like JC. I want to see JC. I want to see <sighs> inscription and glyphs are actually kind of underwhelming. I'm gonna keep it a buck, but I think JC is really good. JC is good. Um, bro, archaeology in vanilla WoW. And it was properly incentivized. Like, you actually had decent rewards. I'm not sure what the rewards would be, but doing archaeology... Dude, archaeology would go so well with vanilla, where the world content is so important, and it gets you out in the world, and you're hunting things in the world. Yes. Uh, however the fuck you spell archaeology. I don't even... I don't care. Uh, then what? Let's play Willy's video. Let's play the video. Willy, what's going on here? to happen Split. if people came into a classic plus finally and just Hi, felt as though Hi, they had well. already done it and already seen it that would be quite a letdown i think the second point i want to get into is where does the new content go where does it fit this is kind of a tangent to the question of how would servers be released i'm assuming if it would happen they would be fresh which makes the most sense to me world of warcraft is yep. always fun when you start from square zero True. and then you have to ask if there is new content where does the new stuff go? Imagine the scenario. Classic Plus is here. Fresh servers are out. Mega hype. New content, new class tuning, new dungeons, new raid, it would new be everything. Okay, so first we have to get to level 60. Oh, 
wait, before we get to level 60, are we going to be doing any new dungeons pre-60? Yes, I mean, what's the are. point, right? You don't replay dungeons again and again pre-60. You do, while you're leveling, you do dungeons multiple times. And then also, once you are 60, oftentimes you'll come back and do leveling dungeons again. You'll farm Maradon. You'll go back and do Zulfrock for certain things. You'll go back and do BRD a million times. You'll go back, like, you're... Like, actually, some of my best memories of playing vanilla are going back and soloing lower level dungeons because I need something from it, right? It's cool. Or, or, it's, or it's a good gold farm or whatever, right? Unless they are the best for either XP or gold farming, which means the new content kind of has to be better than the existing content. Also, I would, I would say probably bring back dungeon farming, but get rid of dungeon boosting. Do you agree with that? Let people, let people solo dungeons, but don't let people boost in dungeons. Or it's going to be instantly run one time it's and true. then not seen again. Does that warrant the development time when it could be put into something at endgame instead? What about a new zone? If it's for leveling it again, people will do it once per character. If it's worth doing. This is one of the biggest, bro. Oh my god. The fact that Blizzard like never really delivered on this fucking thing. On this door. The fact that Blizzard never delivered on this is one of the biggest travesties. There are some gaps in vanilla questing, I will say that. So maybe Dang. there is space to beef up the leveling journey a little bit. How about raids? Imagine phase one is just Molten Core and Anixia again. Okay, so how many months of that do we have to do before we get a new bit of content? What if there was a new raid and it came between Molten Core and Blackwing Lair? Well, it has to raise the bar for gear. You know what they should do, man? Like, they, they should just... They should... Oh, man. How would they do this? Chat, what if they did this? If you do Molten Core in X amount of time, if you have a good pace, you activate a hidden secret boss at the end. So if you have like a one hour and 20 minute MC run, boom, bonus boss. If you have a... If you have a... If you have a 45 minute Blackwing Layer ra run, boom, bonus boss. I guess, I guess that would sort of like force everyone into speedrunning. Yeah, I guess I guess like people that don't give a shit about speedrunning would not be happy. Here a little, that, right? so again it's worth doing. Maybe if we throw in a few bis weapons, trinkets, whatever it may be in there, that'll get people going back to it. But then mm -hmm. suddenly, oh no, Blackwing Lur itself has come out, in addition to Molten Core, the new raid and Anixia. And on a weekly basis, then you would be doing Anixia for the tier head and the quest turn-ins, Molten Core for Eye of Shadow, Leaves, Bindings, and all the other items in there, Blackwing Lurf, your Rejuve Gems, your DFTs, and whatever else, and the new raid for the Biss items in there too. That's a lot of raiding, but then AQ40s come out, and suddenly about 90% of the old gear is now irrelevant, but you're still True. gonna have to do them on raid night because there's like three Biss items which everyone in the game wants, because that's, that's how true. classic itemization works. Until Nax is out of course, and then your raid is tired of doing an entire world tour every week. Also, Nax gear is kind of an insane step up over everything else and that's vanilla with hypothetically only one more raid tier added the alternative is that new raids are added after nax which solves absolutely nothing because if servers are fresh that's 12 or however many months of how do you do this dude i i actually i actually feel like most of the new content if they add new content has to be uh probably before nax and it has to be like a side grade or equivalent to MC gear or a side grade or equivalent. Like BWL comes out at the same time as another raid that's sort of like equal to BWL power level. AQ40 comes out, another raid comes out also that's sort of equal to AQ40 power level. But yeah, yeah. If, you, if, you, if you release all the new raids, all the new content after Nax, if it's more difficult and gives better rewards than Nax, then your 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 like uh, power progression throughout the course of this vanilla server is going to be fucking crazy. Vana like uh, uh, Nax power, the power spike in Nax is actually already fucking like overpowered and insane. No new raid content up to Nax, and if it's not fresh, players will go into the new raid with 25 bis geared warriors and absolutely delete it. And all the raid content prior to the newer raids would also kind of be dead on arrival. So, you know, a great raid is all grub. I think I think the design philosophy behind Zulgrub should be copied for every other additional raid. If if they're gonna do this, use Zulgrub as your ideological template. Zulgrub is 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 great raid design. You have a reputation. You can farm the rep in multiple ways. There's sort of like hard mode stuff also within the raid. There's mounts. People want to go back in and do it over and over again. It's a great way to catch up alts. And it's it it doesn't like 
uh, it, it, it doesn't like remove the necessity for previous content, but it is like a great, it's, it's Zulgrub is great. Zulgrub is a, is a, is a 10 out of 10 raid. Great raid. So where does Good the raid. new content fit here? That's Perfectly the question balanced. I really don't have an answer for. Whatever happens, there would be very clear downsides Ooh. to it, I think. But maybe just getting something new is worth it all the same. Those are my two main concerns so far. Number one, I've already done the content. And number two, where would the new content go? And number three for me is about how World of Warcraft content is consumed, how the game is designed, and the development time that goes into creating new things for the game. So if you've played World of Warcraft for a while, you'll know what the end of expansion life cycle looks like. Sometimes it's up to, or in certain cases, over one year of literally nothing new. With Classic, we know the devs are building the game onto a more modern Omar system, Gonzalez. and unfortunately they can't just boot up Wrath of the Bros, I miss this motherfucker like you wouldn't believe. Lichking.exe and it magically all works. Hence all the beta and PTR testing and brand new bugs and weird things going wrong occasionally. And I've noticed that the more WoW expansions have gone on, there tends to be more and more lead time between the new major patches. Whatever's going on in the background, it's just taking more time. On top of this, World of Warcraft content has a very short life cycle, and this is much more noticeable in the earlier versions of the game. This Just is what happens OSRS when you progress route. vertically as new content is stacked on top of one another. I will say this was less the case during vanilla. You wanted to go back and do the old raids, but... Dude, oh my god. Chat, crazy idea. You know... <sighs> Hold up, this is... Bear with me, this is fucking insane. This, what I'm about to lay on you, is fucking insane. You know how you can only have two primary professions? What if you what if you could unlock a third primary profession by spending a thousand gold? Then you could have three primary professions in Classic Plus. Oh, you want to have a fourth primary profession? Spend five thousand gold. Now you can have four primary professions. Oh, you want to have a fifth primary profession? You're going to drop 10,000 gold on that. And so you introduce a new gold sink. And also it's like another uh, uh, system of progression that the no lives can work down. It's like you're, you're actually adding a ton of more content by doing that. I think, I think that's actually a fucking really good idea. Really good idea. Actually, at, at, at that point, you're sort of like, you're sort of adding like the, the, the skilling aspect of OSRS in the classic wow yeah then you get into the pay to win aspect where people are going to be buying gold and doing it okay what if you what if you add some in-game currency you have you have to personally farm there's in-game currency you farm every time you kill a boss or a dungeon boss you get maybe a badge you get it you get an essence and you have to spend a hundred essences 500 essences to unlock a new profession so you can't buy it you can't pay to win this you have to actually play the game you have to earn it, and then you can unlock a new profession like that. That would be a cool way to do it, right? In TBC, and especially Wrath, there's just a lot more of do the current tier, and then you're kind of done for the week. Add on top of this that the content being added has to raise the bar in one way or another, or it just won't be worth doing. And if there's something new, they have to make sure it's actually worth going to. I see many cases where Classic Plus is mentioned that Blizzard should take inspiration from the success of Jagex with old school RuneScape, which in theory is great. It's proof that new content can keep a game fresh and bring it's a true. whole new player base into the game and interested for years to come. But the similarities between old school RuneScape and World of Warcraft stop at them being called MMORPGs. If Molten Core was a raid in old school RuneScape, you'd have to defeat 40 servants of the Fire Lord outside of the instance before you could gain access each time. You would be able to solo it, all the good drops would be a hundred times rarer, everything would be tradable, the auction house is global, there's no weekly reset, and you can just spam uh, it non-stop. And you would be able to do it with a team if you wanted. Yeah, the games are different. Yeah, if, if, if the point is the games are different, yes. On top of that, yeah. Old School RuneScape doesn't really even have a concept of endgame which is clearly defined. You don't get level cap, then start playing. The actual cap in terms of having every skill at maximum level is not something many people have. Content there can remain relevant for years as nearly all gear is tradable. You still have reasons to go back like gold farming, collection logs, Whoa. Iron Man accounts where they can't trade and so on and so forth. And leveling there takes... Dude, I'm going to be honest. 
I'm 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 looking at the uh, at the OSRS skill sheet here. I really I'm going to pat myself on the back. I really like the idea of being able to unlock more professions. I really like that. You actually sort of unlock the OSRS style of skilling. Like you have a skilling account. I've played my account a lot. I'm playing a lot. I chip away at it and I've got five professions unlocked. I've got blacksmithing. I've got NG. I've got bla I've got mining. I've got fucking enchanting. I've got tailoring and I think I think on top of that you could you could have specific patterns or recipes that are unlocked by maxing out. Okay, you've maxed out three professions. You have three professions at at level what is it? 300 in vanilla. Okay? You get a unique pattern. And it's a it's a really powerful one, right? Or you know, you get you get a specific item that is really powerful or whatever, right? I'm telling you, bro, that's good. That's nice. Then you start do that. playing. The actual cap in terms of having every Add skill at maximum level to is not well. something many people mm -hmm. have. Content there can remain relevant for years as nearly all gear is tradable. You still have reasons uh -oh. to go back like gold farming, collection logs, Iron Man accounts where they can't trade and so on and so forth. And leveling there takes considerably longer so people do invest in different tiers of gear and you're going to be getting so much more use out of them. An example of this is within one year of launching Jagex realized that old school RuneScape wasn't going to survive off pure nostalgia, and that they started true. releasing brand. You guys might remember OSRS died within the first year. Within 12 months, OSRS was fucking dead, and this is because the only endgame content was Barrows. You could skill, you could you could wilderness PK, and you could Barrows. There was no God Wars. There wasn't even the Grand Exchange. There was no Grand Exchange. There was no God Wars. There was no whatever. And so they had to start adding this stuff, and then they added a bunch of stuff that already existed. And then it's like, okay, we need to add actually new content. So they start doing player polls to add new content, and now now the game is doing really really well. And new, content. new content for it. One of the first big new updates was in January 2015. Zora, this was about two years after launch. This was Zora. Yes, Zora is eight years old. A solo boss that added a bunch of new items and mechanics to the game. Today, it still drops items that people would want to chase, and it's an okay gold farm, but it has been nerfed many yep. times over. The point is, this is true across so many of RuneScape's updates. When Alduar drops in Wrath, am I gonna do tier 7 again? Realistically, I think so. Yeah, I'll still be doing Malagos and Sartharian's lair, but just not full clears anymore. I haven't done a single Burning Crusade raid during Wrath and during TBC, I didn't do a single full classic raid either. It's just not how World of Warcraft works, there's very little reason to go back. Sure, there's a few mounts such as Rivendare's Death Charger from Strat Undead or the Zulgarub mounts that may be worth chasing for some collectors, but in the latter example, not even every class in the game can physically do that. I think you can start to see why Blizzard put Transmog in the game and made old raids soloable. Keeping old content relevant is something that Blizzard has in the grand scheme of things, recently made significant improvements too. There's Chromie Time, pick any expansion you want to level in. Baited Raids, go back and do previous raids from the goal. expansion in a different way. Time Walking, go and do old dungeons or raids, collect resources, buy collectibles. Adding pets to old raids, adjusting tuning so old raids can be soloed for collections, and so on. I just can't help but think Classic Plus is going to have a big dead content problem due to how content rolls out during the early versions of WoW and how fast players get through it all again i'd love to hear suggestions on this all that being said don't get me wrong i would There's love to see classic do, plus in the game as I here's the problem blizzard like blizzard there is so much potential for classic plus the problem is blizzard has to spend a lot of time making it happen if they did invest that time i think it would be super successful it would it would kill it classic plus would kill it if they did it right but our are they going to invest that time to make it happen? I don't think so. A real thing, and for so. Blizzard to take this in a whole new direction. And whilst the whole it'll take money so they won't do it thing definitely has something to it, I think there's a lot more important things to be answered than just that. A classic plus to really work. It might not just be about adding the new content, but entirely rethinking the formula that makes people actually like classic in the first place. Thanks once again to Gemstone Legends for sponsoring today. You can check it out by the Thank link in you, the Gemstone description Legends. or the QR code on screen. You Let me too know your thoughts can become on the a three Gemstone points Legend. I've gone over. Is there a clear answer out there to this or is it going to involve a lot of compromising? In any event, thank you so much for watching and listening in and I'll see you all in the next one very soon. Amazing!